Welcome to Spotlight. I'm Terry Harrington, and I'll be speaking with Judy Haynes. Today's show is sponsored by the Women's Life Insurance Society. Well, Judy, I know you've got, uh, spring is always a busy time of the year for you, but you've got a big event coming up on May 9th. Tell us about that. We do on May 9th, between two and four, at the Sanborn Memorial Home, we have a spring tea party. And, and this is obviously not the first time you've done it. You've been doing this for quite a few years. We have been doing it for a long time. It, it's dated back to about 1959 when a group of women got together and they decided that we needed to get some comfort items for the home. So they started having um, spring membership meetings and inviting the community. Okay, so it's from two to four. So anyone from the community can come in and have some tea and kind of look around and, and visit with some of the residents there? Yes, we encourage the community to come out, mm -hmm. see, that, see what we are doing, talk with the residents, and have some tea and some finger food we'll have. We try to make it very traditional. Uh, from just from way back when, we'll have the, the tables decorated in beautiful cloth. We'll have the flowers on the table. We'll be using the, the silverware and the silver piece for the tea. Great. And the fancy hats and all of that too, right? Well, I'm going to be wearing a nice hat. And what we're doing different this year for the residents, we we're making them some fasteners. And we're getting the men um, feather boutonnieres so they feel a part of it. Okay. So what's, what's the real purpose of this? Is it, to, is it to raise money for the Sanborn Gratiot Memorial Home? Or is it just to get the community to interact with your residents? It's a little bit of both. Mm -hmm. Um, it's great to have the community come in and let the residents know that, that there's somebody that, that they can converse with. There's, there, a lot of them don't get out, so to have the community in just makes it a warm feeling in the home. And also, the Women's Auxiliary, we do monthly music. Um, the money would go towards that. Mm -hmm. And we also uh, have crafts that we need to pay for. Mm -hmm. And we have done a lot of uh, purchases in the past as far as we've bought them freezers, we've bought them refrigerators, we do um, supplement their meals with um, some good meat, and, it, and it'll be a really nice event for everyone. Now, is this something where someone has to pay like a registration fee or just come and just make a donation? How, how does that piece work? There is no reservation. Mm -hmm. There's no cost. It's just you come in and give what you want. We'll have a piano player playing there. Um, yeah, so there is no cost. So just, it's just people interacting with people? Really. Exactly, from 2 to 4 on May 9th. Good. Well, that, that's always a good thing. How, how, how do the residents respond to this? Oh, they love it. In fact, I did a little gig at Easter. I was the Easter bunny. And so they probably didn't know it was me. But it was just such a, a, a happy, they just wanted to thank me for making them feel special. And they, the last year's event, there was a lot of community that came. And they, they dressed up. And it just, it was a good time. For someone who may not be familiar with the Sanborn Gratiot Memorial Home, tell, mm -hmm. tell us a little bit about it and what your mission is. Sure. It, um, right now, it is a, it's a Victorian-style mm -hmm. house. It has a beautiful sunroom, and that's where we'll be having the tea party. It has um, been established for a long time. Oh, I think we're on our 80th year, mm -hmm. and we have uh, rooms for 30 residents. Um, those residents need to qualify financially, and they have to be over the age of 55. Mm -hmm. Great. Mm -hmm. And you're located kitty corner from Palmer Park. Yes, so you see a lot beautiful. of those activities it is, here, right? It is a perfect place to be. Great. So again, do, do people have to um, let you know that they're going to come or just have them show up for your tea on May 9th? We are prepared for a group of people to come and have fun. So no RSVP, just come on in. You don't have to stay long. You can mm -hmm. just listen to a little bit of the music, have some finger food. And a great opportunity. Do you, do you have children come along as well? If you know, come with mom or dad or, oh, yeah. or that type of thing? That or would be great. It, it really makes the <laughs> residents happy to see younger people there <laughs> being involved. And, and I, know, I know some of the programming that you guys provide too. You do often have high school students come in and perform for your residents too, don't you? Yes. Um, we have monthly music and um, we, can, we have the students come in and also we have professional people that we have come in and we have <laughs> to pay for that. 
So the Women's Auxiliary is very involved in, in, in this is our big fundraiser. And we have another one in the fall, and that's a, a coffee fashion show in the fall. But the monies will also go towards a family picnic that we have for the residents in June. Oh, great. Yeah. So, I mean, so it's a, it's a great way for the community to reach out for those who are later in life for the mm -hmm. most part. That's right. And, uh, and, and just have a time to establish some relationships in it. That's right, because we'll all be there someday, yeah, right? Unfortunately, <laughs> yes, but uh, yep, that's, that's the way life works, mm -hmm. but uh, no, that's good. So give us again the when, where, who are you expecting to come? Oh, we, um, it is May 9th on a Thursday from two to four. We would love to have any community members come, uh, any, like you said, students to come and give a donation. And the location is at the Sanborn Memorial Gratiot Home. Great. At the corner of Gratiot and Garfield and Portland? Yes, yes. yes. Well, Judy, we want to thank you for sharing about your May 9th event coming up. And we want to thank you for joining us on Spotlight.